talked in the uh, football segment. Depth charts came. Depth charts came out this week, which doesn't really mean much. It's just no, not right now. The, they don't. You know, it's the first week, first game. They just had to be out by, I believe, today. But Word. you do have um, a couple just random things. True Blood, Jeremy True Blood is listed ahead of James Lee on the depth chart. Mm. Even though James Lee did start nine of the games last year. Again, you know, it's like, like we said, depth chart don't mean much right now. No. And, you know, and we've talked about True Blood. I think he's a little, he's a mental case, but he's, I w- a, he's a good player. If I'm in a foxhole, I want him there with me. I don't. Oh, yeah. I don't want him on the other side. No, he's a crazy person because he he will literally beat you with your own arm. <laughs> yeah, and uh, then I want no, no parts of that. No, uh, Mason Foster is listed as a number one middle linebacker. Uh, behind as, him, as predicted, right? Behind him is Tyrone McKenzie and uh, Daryl Smith. Uh, McKenzie is the two-year linebacker out of USF. Smith is the rookie linebacker from Syracuse. Both of them have actually been putting on a show in training camp. So it really looks like, I mean, obviously with Foster being the number one pick, it will probably end up being his job. But it looks like all three of these guys are doing a really good job, and it could go to either one of them. It might be a little rotation. I mean, the only thing that can make you better in preseason is having somebody right on your heels trying to steal right. your job. That and you got to focus. McKenzie, although he hasn't played in the NFL yet, he's been on the practice squad. Right. He was practicing with the team all off season, so he probably has a little bit of an upper hand on Foster. All right. Just as far as actually knowing the playbook already. Yeah, but when it just comes to raw ability. Right, but, I mean, Foster looks like he could definitely be the real deal. Uh, at end, you have Michael Bennett ahead of Daquan Bowers. Which, again. Which, again, isn't really shocking. Bowers has been in the NFL all of a week. Exactly. And plus, I think they're still trying to take it easy on him uh, with everything that was going on with the knee. Yeah. I know he had a scheduled day off yesterday or today. Mm-hmm. Just to kind of keep him fresh. 